Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X. So, if you saw my last video, you know that I installed the turn signals on the NX250 here. And after I got it all done, they still were not working correctly. When I turned the signals on, they weren't blinking. They were still just completely solid. So at that point, last night, I kind of, I gave up. I said, forget it. It's getting late. I'm tired. I, I just wanted to go inside. So I went upstairs. I was sitting on the couch and it was driving me nuts. So it was like 1030, almost 11 o'clock. And I said, you know what? I, I got to go figure this out. This is driving me crazy. So with flashlight in hand, I came down here and I figured it has to be either one of two things. Either I have a bad fuse or I have a bad relay. So the first thing I wanted to check was the fuse because it's the easiest thing to check. It's literally right here on the left side of the bike underneath the seat. If you take the seat off, there's a, there's a screw on the top of that box there. You just take the screw out, pop the box off, and you can check the fuses. So I did that and the fuses were fine. There was no issue with any of my fuses on this bike. So I said, all right, you know what, it, it's, it's got to be the relay then. So when I was inside on the couch, I did a little bit of research. The relays are cheap. You, you can pick those things up for a couple bucks. They're like six, seven dollars. They're less than ten dollars. They're not very expensive. I just didn't know which relay to get because they do sell them in like two prong, three prong and four prong. So I said, you know what, let me find where it is on this thing. I'll check it out. I'll see which one I got to order and then I'll, I'll order it. I'll get this thing done in a couple of days. No problem. So I said to myself, there can't be too many places for that thing to be hiding on here. There isn't that much wiring. Like it was 1988 technology. It's a dirt bike. There isn't a lot of wiring on this thing. It's got to be pretty easy to find. So I came up here to the front where the wiring harness is. Okay. And it literally took me about two seconds to find this relay. Right here, underneath the right turn signal, the relay was literally just dangling there. It wasn't even attached where it was supposed to be attached. See that clip on the back of it there? That clip is supposed to attach to that rubber harness in there. Okay? It wasn't even attached. It was just hanging there. So, I picked it up to look at it. I was checking it out. And I noticed something. It's labeled. There's a B on one side and L on the other. I don't know what that stands for. I have no clue. But I also noticed that the wires were two different colors. You got a black wire and you got a gray wire. So with the fact that you got two different colored wires there, and they're labeled, I assumed that the wires have to go to a particular prong. There's a reason why they label things and they, they color code things. So, my assumption was when the previous owner attached his LED lights to the rear and they weren't working, he came in here and started messing with the relay. So he's in here dicking around, right? He gives up because he couldn't get it working, not knowing that he had the wrong kind of relay on there. And instead of putting the relay back, he just kind of left it dangling there. So, all I did was, I reversed the wires. He had this gray wire hooked up to the front prong, and the black wire hooked up to the side. So all I did was switch them, and now the blinkers work just fine. So that was the problem. This guy was in here messing around trying to fix his issue, not knowing that he had the wrong relay. And when he put it all back together, he reversed the wires, and that's why it wasn't working in my particular situation. So as you can see here, I'll turn the bike on for you. All of the blinkers are now working. They're working in the front, they're working in the rear, the right side, and the left side. So everything is fixed now. We're good to go. Um, that's the first major issue that I wanted to get fixed on this bike so that I can get it out on the road. The next step is going to be to get all those plastics squared away. I'm working on that. 
Um, I'm going to get them on the bike very soon. Get them so that they're not flapping around anymore when I'm riding down the road. And then after that, I got to change out these tires and we're good to go. I mean, I could ride it on the street as is. But like I said, to, to be completely safe, I just I want to make sure I get those three priorities taken care of first. So that's priority one. Checked off the list. Give it a done stamp. Good to go. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more content coming up on the NX250. I'm going to be doing a lot of work on this thing. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.